and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship Him. Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving. And raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it and his hands have molded the dry land. Oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. Oh, come, let us worship Him. The Lord is King, let the earth rejoice, let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about Him, righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. A fire goes before him, and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings light up the world, the earth sees it and is afraid. The mountains melt like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole world. The heavens declare his righteousness, and all the peoples see his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in false gods. Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion hears and is glad, and the cities of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you are the Lord Most High over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his saints and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joyful gladness for those who are true-hearted. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. God, our King, you clothe the sky with light and the depths of the ocean with black darkness. Among the peoples you work wonders and rain terror upon your enemies. 
Do not try your servants by fire, but bring us rejoicing to the shelter of your home, where with your Son and the Holy Spirit you live and reign now and forever. Amen. When Christ appearing was made known, King Herod trembled for his throne. But he who offers heavenly birth seeks not the kingdoms of the earth. The eastern sages saw from far and followed on his guiding star. By light their way to light they trod, and by their gifts confess their God. Within the Jordan's sacred flood, the heavenly Lamb in meekness stood. That he of whom no sin was known Might cleanse his people from their own. And oh, what miracle divine When water reddened into wine He spoke the word and forth it flowed in streams that nature ne'er bestowed. For this his glad epiphany, all glory unto Jesus be, whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Ghost forevermore. A reading from the prophet Isaiah, the 41st chapter. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue is parched with thirst, I the Lord will answer them, I the God of Israel will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the bare heights, and fountains in the midst of the valley. I will make the wilderness a pool of water, and the dry land springs of water. I will put in the wilderness the cedar, the acacia, the myrtle, and the olive. I will set in the desert the cypress, the plain, and the pine together, that they may see and know, may consider and understand together, that the hand of the Lord has done this. The Holy One of Israel has created it. Set forth your case, says the Lord. Bring your proofs, says the King of Jacob. Let them bring them and tell us what is to happen. Tell us the former things, what they are, that we may consider them, that we may know their outcome, or declare to us the things to come. Tell us what is to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods. Do good or do harm, that we may be dismayed and terrified. Behold, you are nothing, and your work is less than nothing. An abomination is he who chooses you. I stirred up one from the north, and he has come. From the rising of the sun and he shall call upon my name. He shall trample on rulers as on mortar, as the potter treads clay. Who declares it from the beginning that we might know? 
and beforehand that we might say, He is right. There was none who declared it, none who proclaimed, none who heard your words. I was the first to say to Zion, Behold, here they are, and I give to Jerusalem a herald of good news. But when I look, there is no one. Among these, there is no counselor. Who, when I ask, gives an answer? Behold, they are all a delusion. Their works are nothing. Their metal images are empty wind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, the second chapter. Therefore, remember that at one time, you Gentiles in the flesh, called the uncircumcision, by what is called the circumcision, which is made in the flesh by hands, remember that you were at that time separated from Christ, alienated from the commonwealth of Israel, and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope, and without God, in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace, who has made us both one and has broken down in his flesh the dividing wall of hostility by abolishing the law of commandments expressed in ordinances, that he might create in himself one new man in place of the two, so making peace, and might reconcile us both to God in one body through the cross, thereby killing the hostility. And he came and preached peace to, the, to you who were far off, and peace to those who were near, for through him we both have access in one spirit to the Father. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, <coughs> in whom the whole structure, being joined together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from St. Mark, the second chapter. And when he returned to Capernaum, after some days, it was reported that he was at home. And many were gathered together, so that there was no more room, not even at the door. And he was preaching the word to them. And they came, bringing to him a paralytic, carried by four men. And when they could not get near him because of the crowd, they removed the roof above him. And when they had made an opening, they let down the bed on which the paralytic lay. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Son, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, questioning in their hearts, Why does this man speak like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God alone? And immediately Jesus, perceiving in his spirit that they were thus questioned within themselves, 
said to them, Why do you question these things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, take up your bed, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and immediately picked up his bed and went out before them all, so that they were all amazed and glorified God, saying, We never saw anything like this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior. Born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father in heaven, at the baptism of Jesus in the river Jordan, you proclaimed him your beloved Son, and anointed him with the Holy Spirit. Make all who are baptized into Christ faithful in their calling to be your children, and inheritors with him of everlasting life. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We pray, dear Heavenly Father, for your holy Christian Church in all the world. Save, deliver, and preserve it from all evil. Take away from it all unfaithful pastors and false teachers who lamentably scatter and ravage your slender flock. Send forth and give faithful pastors and courageous bishops into your harvest. 
Give and increase the grace of your Holy Spirit in the hearts of all Christian pastors and bishops of your church, especially those who shall feed your flock with your word in this land. That when the chief pastor, your beloved son, Jesus Christ, shall come again, he may find many faithful Christians. Amen. Jesus, the good shepherd of the sheep, grant strength and courage to our bishop, Daniel, our general secretary, Mark, our seminary president, Eric, our mission director, Dementius, our ministry coordinator, David, and to all others who serve on our behalf. Guide them in their duties, nurture them in faith, uphold them in hope, sustain them in their health, and enable them to serve and lead your people in truth and love. Amen. Now I awake to see the light. Lord, thou hast kept me through the night. To thee I lift my voice and pray that thou wilt keep me through the day. If I should die before tis done, O God, accept me through thy Son. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen.